now we derive the formula of gravitational potential uh, we know that gravitational potential is a work done to carry a unit mass from infinite to inside the gravitational field suppose uh, this is a body of capital m mass and uh, this gjn represents the gravitational field of that body and a unit mass is we carry uh, from infinite to that point suppose this point is a and this point is b and this separation is small r uh, it means the work done to carry this unit mass from infinite to that point that is known as gravitational potential and uh, uh, force of attraction on this unit mass it should be g m m upon r square this mass is unit it means we can write g m upon r square it is also known as uh, force of attraction or gravitational attraction and uh, suppose we want to uh, determine work done or gravitational potential and now we consider uh, now we calculate the work done for that small distance which may be represented by dr and we can suppose the work done for that dr distance is dw and dw should be force into displacement and force is g m upon r square and distance is dr and now if we want to determine work done it should be integration of dw or integration g m upon r square dr and uh, we know that uh, the separation from this body is small r and it is coming from infinite it means limit of this integration it should be small r to infinite small r to infinite g m upon r square dr g m r constant and that becomes g m integration small r infinite 1 upon r square dr and integration of 1 upon r square is g m minus 1 upon r and limitation r, uh, r to infinite and if we put the upper limit it becomes gm minus 1 upon infinity and minus minus plus 1 upon r and that work done is gm upon r and that work done represents the gravitational potential as g and m are constant it means gravitational potential of the body is inversely proportional to the separation of the body it means v is inversely proportional to r thank you